What's up, people? Good evening. Good Thursday evening. Uh, first of all, before we open up past coverage Thursday, uh, streaming with the Hawks Nest tonight on this channel. We're doing the Rams preview tonight. Should be about 8 o'clock Pacific, so in the next couple hours here, we're going to go live. Going to talk for a couple hours about this upcoming Rams game. And yeah, you guys know how we do it by now. Try to be there. We're going to have fun. We're going to Talk about whatever needs to be talked about with this team. And yeah, obviously viewer participation always makes these streams better. So definitely try to stop on by. Okay. So past coverage Thursday, not great. I can tell you that right now. Derek Carr, we, we got him for a couple turnovers, but he sliced and diced us pretty good. Really disappointing with no Waller, with no Renfro. They're still able to do that. Obviously, he was not the main problem. Josh Jacobs was the bigger problem, but Derek Carr had a pretty good game. So let's uh, run it through here. Let's see who gave up what and try to understand what's going on here. So we're going to start with the big one, Jordan Brooks. He got targeted a lot in this game. Josh Jacobs was a frequent target in the passing game as well as the running game. So Jordan Brooks got targeted about seven times and gave up five completions for about 68 yards. So that's not the worst, but it's certainly not good, especially when you give up a couple of touchdowns. The uh, game time touchdown at the uh, inside of two minutes of the fourth quarter was on his head, and I believe he gave up another touchdown in this game as well. So it's it's not what you're looking for, and I mean, it doesn't surprise anybody anymore Jordan Brooks will never be good in coverage. It's just beyond his abilities. He will never be good in coverage, and because of that, I don't believe he will ever be a great player in this league. I think that his ability to affect the game is just limited by the fact that he, he can't cover. So it's not surprising at this point, but yeah, it, it wasn't particularly good on Sunday and while Brooks has had better games recently in coverage, he's been a little bit cleaner. He's no longer on pace to give up over a thousand yards like he did last year. It's still not very good, and it it, it continues to confirm the previous assumptions about him. Uh, Cody Barton got targeted a handful of times and gave up, I believe, four completions on four targets. Not nearly as much damage here, though. Only like 32 yards. And no touchdowns, no picks, so his QB rating allowed goes to about 97. Still doing okay. I know the completion percentage is hideous, but Cody Barton's doing okay in coverage, I guess, just because there's not a lot of damage. And the uh, other linebackers didn't really get targeted. I will say that's one thing that I think is probably good. You look at these guys like Daryl Taylor, Nwosu, Mafe, Irvin. They shouldn't be being asked to do that much in coverage so it seems like we're keeping them out of those situations fairly well which is nice but I feel like at the same time us doing that is making this defense just a little more predictable which was something we were supposed to get away from so it, it kind of goes back to that whole debate of scheme versus player what is really at fault here who do we blame for the defense being so bad right now um, I'm going to make another video about this. I keep pushing this video back, but I am going to release it uh, tomorrow. And uh, we're, we're going to talk about that a little bit here. But um, nothing, no damage on any of the other linebackers. So I guess that's good. Uh, cornerback wise, Tariq Woolen, he got targeted, I believe, once in this game. Gave up one completion. And yeah, he had another really good game. QB rating is just below 60. And he's he's a superstar. There's no other way to put it. Now, granted, I understand these numbers are depressed a little bit because teams can just throw at other players. Like, nobody's going to be thrown at Woolen when you can throw at Kobe Bryant or Jordan Brooks or, to a certain extent, even Barton. Regardless, you guys saw the passing chart. Raiders wanted nothing to do with Tariq Woolen, and they barely threw at him. And most of the time when they threw to his side of the field, it was within, like, three yards of the line of scrimmage. So, yeah. We got a special player here. They've learned their lesson quickly, unfortunately, so he's not going to get too many opportunities at picks this year. But we have a special player. Michael Jackson was the guy who kind of got targeted a bunch in lieu of Woolen. He got targeted nine times. Uh, held up okay. 
six receptions, uh, according to PFR, about s almost 60 yards, which is okay. Um, watching the game, I thought that Jackson played a decent, decent game. He had that uh, one play where he had really good coverage on Devontae, and Devontae makes a ridiculous one-handed catch. That's not really Jackson's fault. There were those couple of plays where we had a double team on Devontae Adams, and Jackson would still play in off coverage, like 10 yards off. I don't know if that's the scheme. I don't know if that's the player making a decision, but that's not a very effective double team. So hopefully, going forward, when we double team a superstar like Adams, we do it a little more effectively. But Jackson played okay. Uh, Trey Brown did play in this game, but he only played three snaps. He didn't get targeted in coverage. He did make one tackle, but uh, no action for him in coverage yet. And... I like Jackson a lot. He's having a good year, but I do believe Trey Brown's ceiling is higher. So I'm kind of hoping that Trey Brown gets more burn as we move through the season. Uh, Kobe Bryant played decently as well. He got targeted about, what was it, uh, four times. I think he gave up four completions, but only for about 29 yards. So I can live with that. I don't have a big problem with that. That's not the reason why you lose. There were a couple plays where Kobe was uh, up against Devontae. That's not going to end well very often, so it is what it is. And I think Kobe, at the very least, played better than he did the previous two weeks. I'll leave it like that. I'll put it like that. And Ryan Neal, I believe, got targeted four times and only allowed one completion, so his great season continues on. Uh, yeah, it was just a seven-yard completion. So Ryan Neal is still killing the game, and um, hopefully he's okay this week. The early indication is that he's got a good chance to play. But uh, if he's not out there, that, that, that could be a big problem because the guy we have behind him, um, people are not big fans of him at the moment, and you can see why when you watch him play. Uh, that moves us to the safeties. Quandre Diggs was actually targeted a decent amount in this game. It was five targets for a grand total of three catches and about 50 yards, almost 50 yards. So not his cleanest game, but he did make the two interceptions. We scored uh, 10 points off those two interceptions, so that was a big deal in this game. But he did allow that touchdown to Abdullah in between the two. Inter I mean, between the two interceptions. So it was a mixed bag of a game. On the whole, though, you would still say that Diggs was a big positive because of the two picks. QB rating dumps all the way down to below 90 off of those two picks. So yeah, Diggs got picked on a little bit more than he usually does, but he also made him pay for picking on him a little bit. So. You take the good with the bad. Josh Jones got targeted once, gave up one completion for 20 yards. Uh, he only played 10 snaps, so there weren't a ton of opportunities for him. So uh, not having a particularly good year in coverage, given the fact that he doesn't play that much. Like, he's given up more yards in coverage than Quandre, despite playing like half the snaps. So not great, but I think we all know Josh Jones' limitations as a player at this point. So to recap, no one player got completely murked in this game. It was a team effort of like a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit for Brooks, a little bit for Barton, a um, little bit on Jackson, a little bit on Kobe, a little bit on Quandre, a little bit on Josh Jones. Uh, one thing that I think is, throw, um, to, well, one thing to consider is that I don't kn think they gave much, uh, bl uh, I'm not sure who they blamed on the uh, flea flicker touchdown because the dude was wide open. There was nobody in coverage. I think they gave it to Brooks. But I don't know how fair that is. That's uh, that's debatable. So for whatever that's worth, I don't know how to credit that one. You let me know what you think, I guess. All right, see you guys later. Hawksnest stream tonight. Hope to see you there.